Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So I'm actually on my way over to AutoZone. If you guys saw my last video, I found a small little chip in the windshield. It's kind of right in the center of my STI. Um, so I was thinking about getting replaced or trying to fill it. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna try to fill it. If it doesn't turn out the way that I want it, I'll just get it replaced, not a big deal, but I figured I would go ahead and try it out. Kind of the same thing applied uh, with the dent puller that I ended up getting. I had a few very, very small dents in the car that I ended up getting out with a $45 Amazon dent puller. So I'm headed over to AutoZone right now to pick up a windshield repair kit, see if it works. And if it gets a pretty decent, we can save ourselves a few bucks. So let's go ahead, head over to AutoZone, pick up a kit and see how it turns out. All right guys, so we made it back into the garage. What I ended up picking up uh, is a windshield repair kit by Permatex. Permatex is a very popular brand. I have quite a few Permatex products. I always go for them if I can. And the reviews on this seem to be pretty good. Uh, and it seems to be a pretty simple solution. So what we're actually going to do is actually try and fill uh, the small crack that I have on my STI in the windshield. So it's gonna be hard to kind of show since it's in the middle of the windshield. You can see it right there, it's hard to show. It's not too big, it's pretty small. Uh, so hopefully this takes care of it. Um, but we are looking at that dot right there if you're not uh, curious, it's hard with all the glare and everything. But we're gonna try our best, see if it fills it, at least make it a little bit less noticeable. Um, it's not spreading or anything like that, so we should be in good shape. So let's go ahead, let's open up the box, read the directions and see just how you actually do this. So this is what you get in the kit. I laid everything out so I can explain it quickly. The instructions here, I went over it, I read everything thoroughly. It was a little confusing, so I ended up looking up on a YouTube video just to kind of get an idea and make sure uh, what it made sense of what I was actually reading. So now I have a better understanding of it all. So basically the first thing that we're going to do is clear out the crack, uh, clear out the hole uh, in the glass to make sure there's no residual glass or dirt or anything in there. Uh, wipe it down with the alcohol prep pad. We're going to put the actual little pedestal is what they call it uh, and the sticker over the hole, inject it with some resin, use the syringe to get the air out. Then we're gonna remove this after the designated time, do some more resin with nothing on there, put this little uh, clear plastic uh, square on there, uh, let that dry. You're supposed to do it in sunlight, but it is pretty warm in here. I may take out my heat gun and just kind of heat it up a little bit. Then after that, you take the little square off, scrape off any residual resin uh, with the razor blade included, and you will be done. Now keep in mind, this isn't going to completely remove the crack. It's still going to be there, but what it actually does is it A, it hides it, uh, so you don't see it as much, and also it helps it from spreading. So basically that is what we want. We don't want this crack to get any bigger where we are forced to actually get this whole windshield replaced. So based on how this turns out, I may end up replacing it anyway, but I figured I would try it. Uh, this was only like 15, 16 bucks or so from AutoZone. I, well, actually, I actually think it was a little bit more with tax. Uh, so it's not that bad. So I figured I would give it a try, see if it turns out well. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So first things first, let's take the little safety pin that is included, scrape out the little hole there and uh, get any debris and residual glass out. All right, now we're going to take the supplied alcohol prep pad and wipe the area to make sure there's no dirt or grime or anything there to get a nice clean surface. Next step is to take the actual adhesive sticker. We're gonna peel off the white side first uh, and place uh, the crack like that over the hole. Uh, and then we'll go on to the next step. Next step is to take the supplied pedestal Peel off the green side of the adhesive tape and line this up. You're going to place the tab exactly where the tab is at the top and line the hole up and we'll be ready to go. Thank you. 
All right, so the next step is actually putting the resin in the little tube right there. Uh, you wanna make sure you go around and push that down nice and even because you do not want any air bubbles because you just want the resin to go straight uh, in the hole in the tube right there. You don't want it to go anywhere else really. Uh, so make sure you firmly press that down and it has a good adhesion to the glass. Now we're gonna take this little tip off the resin tube, pour a little bit in, uh, and then we can move on to the next step. Now we're going to take the supplied syringe, stick it in the hole at the top there, and pull it all the way up. You can see there's two notches. We're gonna pull it all the way up to there. Going to let that sit in there for 10 minutes and then we can move on to the next step. All right, so we got about two minutes left. I just wanted to jump in real quick and explain what's going on. Right now, uh, we pulled it up so it's pulling the air out. Uh, and it's getting into all the cracks and everything. And the next step after the 10 minutes is up, we're going to remove the syringe to allow the air to escape. And then we're actually going to leave it in that position, put the uh, syringe back in the pedestal, and then push it down to the second notch. There's one right there, you can kind of see it. So what that step is actually going to do is push the air in uh, to the crack so it'll fill uh, anything underneath and that's going to be left for 20 minutes so uh, once this time is up you'll see me just remove the syringe and then put it back in and then squeeze it down to that second indent right there All right, so you just saw me remove it. That was after 10 minutes. You may have been able to hear the suction release. Uh, and then all you're going to do is put it right back into the pedestal, push it down to the second notch and lock it in place with the little spring on top. Now we're gonna wait a full 20 minutes. All right, so we are in the car. I just wanted to show you what it looks like underneath just as a reference. It's gonna be very, very hard to show, uh, but you can see the actual hole right there where the syringe is in. Uh, and it's actually doing a really good job. Now, before I started this, I came in here and took a look and you were able to see a little bit of the crack. Um, it didn't come all the way through, but you can definitely see it. Uh, and just by looking at it right now, it's definitely doing its job and filling it in very, very nicely. It's very hard to show on camera here. Uh, but it definitely is, uh, I could already tell it's going to look much, much better. It won't completely remove the entire pit, but it's definitely going to look, I would say, 95% better. So I'm still waiting the 20 minutes before we can remove that syringe and remove the uh, pedestal here. So once that time is up, I will jump back in and let you guys know the next step. All right, so the 20 minutes is up. It was only a second for you guys, but it was 20 minutes. So now what I'm actually going to do is remove the syringe and then remove the actual pedestal with the supplied razor blade. Then we're actually going to take um, more of the resin kind of throw some on on top of the actual crack on the glass, use this little square piece, put it on there, and then let that sit for uh, 15 minutes, and then we should be done. So let me go ahead, remove that off the glass, and we'll go on to the uh, last step. All right, so what you saw me do was remove the pedestal and then I ended up using uh, some of the remaining resin, put that little square piece on and then use the razor blade to get any of the air bubbles out. Um, there is gonna be some residual just kind of floating around, but we're gonna let that dry for 15 minutes. Now they say to leave it in direct sunlight. It is fairly warm in here, it's about 80 degrees. Um, they said on a cloudy day, it takes about an hour for it to fully cure. I don't plan on driving the car. It's gonna be staying in the garage for uh, the next couple of days, so I'm not too worried about it, but we're gonna wait 15 minutes. Once that 15 minutes is up, we're gonna peel that up, scrape any uh, residual off, and then we should be done. It's looking pretty good. I'm actually pretty hyped with the results so far, just based on what I see. 
Uh, so I think we are in a good spot and it's going to turn out much better than I was anticipating. So, so let's wait the 15 minutes and I'll jump back in and uh, we'll move on to the last and final step. All right, so it's actually been a little bit longer than the 15 minutes. I waited about 40 simply because I'm in the garage and there's no direct UV light, no sunlight. Uh, so what I ended up doing was using my heat gun and just kind of waving it over a little bit. Granted, heat from a heat gun and UV uh, rays from the sun are very, very different. Uh, but I want, at least wanted to try to let it cure as long as possible. So I wanted to wait a little bit longer since we are in the garage, but uh, I think we are good. So what I'm actually going to do is remove the little plastic square, clean up the residual, scrape off any excess, and then we should be done. So let me go ahead and get that done and let's check out the final result. All right, so we got everything cleaned up, everything off. And uh, I'm thoroughly impressed. Now it's not 100% gone, which I expected, but it is way less noticeable. So if we, I'm actually having a hard time finding it. Uh, let's see, okay, right there, you can kind of see it. It's definitely way, way, way smaller. Oh geez, it's hard to see it on camera with the glare. You can kind of see it right there. Um, definitely a huge improvement. It filled in all of the actual, I don't wanna say spider webbing, but it definitely filled in all of the spread. Any of the webbing that was kind of happening around it is completely filled in. Um, it just barely is noticeable. You can kind of see it right there. But overall, way happier. Obviously much better than spending, you know, 500 bucks or whatever it's gonna cost with the deductible to get this fully replaced. Uh, so like I said, that was under $20 to get this done. So if you have a small little uh, pit in your glass like that, um, the Permatex window repair kit is definitely a fantastic solution. And like I said, it's not gonna be 100% perfect. It's not gonna be completely unnoticeable. So it's gonna actually prevent it from spreading and it's actually going to help it be a little bit less noticeable. Uh, so for a car like this that I'm kind of so detailed on and just crazy about, um, you know, something like that won't bother me as much as it did before I did this. So I'm happy I did it, I'm happy I tried it. I think I'm going to hang onto this windshield for a little bit longer if I end up getting more rock chips down the road. We'll end up replacing it, but for sub $20, that is a fantastic kit. Highly recommend it. I will leave it in the link below for you guys, so if you're interested in snagging one, uh, you can go ahead and get one for yourself and get your window cleaned up and looking perfect. So that is it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. A little DIY. Uh, we did the dent puller on the uh, driver's side a couple videos ago, which worked fantastic and then we just fixed our windshield uh, DIY as well. So, so we saved ourselves a bunch of money. As much as I like spending money on this car, it's always nice to save where you can. So again, I'll leave a link below for the Permatex uh, windshield repair kit if you are interested in picking one up. If you have any questions at all, be sure to ask them below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.